Only on Local 10, a site on the sand in Hollywood. A Cuban migrant boat is gaining a lot of attention after washing ashore. Local 10 News reporter Hatsavella is live with this exclusive. So, Alexis, the migrant boats uh, washed ashore here on Hollywood Beach. And what makes this story really special is not just where it landed, but also who witnessed it all. You can see the tiny raft being removed from Hollywood Beach, but the images of those who saw it up close remain vivid. And it was no bigger than eight feet long, maybe three feet wide. Tiny in size, and you can see from the multiple pictures people took, obviously it is homemade. I don't know how it made it, but I'm assuming it made it from, you know, from Cuba. A dangerous voyage, and in the past couple of months, Cuban migrant landings have become almost a daily occurrence. I, I couldn't believe it. Even harder to believe where it landed. You cannot make this up. Right on Freedom Street, on the, on the sand. Yes, Freedom Street in Hollywood, a direct walk from where the boat washed ashore. Clearly, the desperation that's always been there is just amped up these days. Jose Basulto is one of several witnesses who lives nearby. If the name sounds familiar, it should, because it adds to the irony of this story. Basulto's father was the face, the leader of Brothers to the Rescue, an organization in the 90s whose sole mission was to rescue Cuban migrants off the Florida Straits, what became known as the Cuban Rafter Crisis. Today, in 2022, another Cuban migrant crisis unfolds. History repeats itself, and those living on Freedom Street have a front seat to see what's happening. It's not, it's not safe to be in one of those in the intercoastal, uh, but you see the tiny, tiny little raft that they painstakingly, over a great deal of time with great ingenuity, put together, and, and they, they took their shot. They took their shot to get here. So they took their shot, but what's tough about this story is that at this point, we're not sure if they made it to land or if they were intercepted at sea. We're hoping that they're safe somewhere. For now, reporting live from Hollywood Beach, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News.